do you guys eat plants? Are plants alive? So, do you think that cutting a carrot is the same thing as throwing pigs into gas chambers? I mean, I mean, it could be. Exactly. You don't know if carrots talk to each other. Exactly. I think we both know that plants don't feel pain. I don't know, man. I'm not a plant. Have you guys seen footage like this before? How do you vegetarian? What we're promoting here is veganism. Because in every industry, whether it's meat, dairy, eggs, leather, fur, all animals end up being tortured to death at a fraction of their lifespan. So would you say that you guys are against animal abuse? I mean, I like meat. I, mean, I like chicken. Now the chicken tastes good though. I can't like, yeah, come on, man. how are they gonna make that chicken? How are they gonna make chicken? Did you ever eat meat before? None of us here were born vegan. And we didn't go vegan because we stopped liking the taste of animal products. In fact, we all used to love the taste of animal products. We went vegan because we understood that our choices have consequences. In this case, non-consenting animals who are being tortured and hacked apart. But I mean, like, on, if I stop eating meat, it's not like no exactly. stop doing like, it. Like, you you just you just stop eating good for no reason. I'm like still getting fucked up. <laughs> None of us here go out committing violent crimes. Yeah. That's not going to rid the world of violent crimes. But at least it's not being done in your name. Yeah. Same thing with this. When you. I mean, are we supposed to just let them die? Yeah, it's like they're going to die. But when you turn vegan, it's like you're wasted. You they just sacrifice their life for no reason. They well, I mean, they're gonna die anyway. They're gonna die somehow. And does that make it moral? The three of you, you're all gonna die one day. Does that make it moral for someone to come and murder you? So if somebody wanted to eat you, would it be okay for them to murder you? I mean, no. when I die, they can eat me. <laughs> but it wouldn't be a, a oh, right for someone to murder you. Because yeah. they'd be taking away your liberty. Watch that part. Oh, that's crazy. So what do you feel like is stopping you guys? on an individual level from not abusing animals and being vegan. And how can you justify putting animals through this torment and suffering for a 15 minute meal? I just eat what gets put in front of me. Yeah, it's cheap, but them salads, them shit's been like 12 dollars. That was fucked up when you cut the tail. That was fucked up when you cut the tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And right now, all three of you guys are supporting that. So you're pro cutting their tail off. No, 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 no. Just because I eat food don't mean like, I don't want them to suffer. You're I voting with like, your dollar though. Nah, but Pete, they could have like did that shit calmly. They should have killed, killed them calmly. Like if they killed them calmly, would you still be vegan? So what it comes down to is you always have to analyze injustice from the victim's point of view. If somebody were to come up to one of you. But they're not human. So, and how does that justify putting them through torture and abuse? Yeah, but like, Vegans eat plants. Are plants alive? So, do you think that cutting a carrot is the same thing as throwing pigs into gas chambers? I mean, I mean, it could be. Exactly. You don't know if carrots talk to each other. Exactly. I think we both know that plants don't feel pain. I don't know, man. I'm not a plant. I mean, let's be honest. I don't want to eat like fake <laughs> food. I don't want to eat like food that they make off like. I don't know what they make it off like. I want to eat like. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm eating what I eat. So vegans eat the same thing that all of you eat. The only difference is made from plants instead of dead bodies. Do you think it's right that, like, say, like lions kill like good, like like animals just in the wild? So lions are obligate carnivores. If they don't eat animals, they will die. And lions if don't. If we don't eat animals, we would die. Then how does that explain all of us here? And lions are. They don't have a moral agency. Lions rape each other. Lions eat their children. Each one of us has moral agency. We can determine right from wrong. So, and we can decide that if you're against animal abuse, then you don't have to support it. Do you guys know what the number one benefit is of going vegan? No. The number one benefit, obviously for the animals. Once you go vegan, animals are no longer tormented and abused because of you. The no, best- Some people don't go vegan for that reason. I know some people that go vegan just because they want to eat healthy. So that's plant-based. That's the difference between plant-based and vegan. Yes. Plant-based is a trendy way of just taking care of yourself. Veganism is a moral philosophy against animal abuse. The best benefit for you guys is that when you're vegan, because you said that you're against animal abuse, for the first time, you no longer have to be a hypocrite. All right, wait, can I ask you a question? What do you eat 
You know what? Hypocrite means what? What do you eat like on a daily basis? Like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I eat the same exact things <laughs> that you eat. The only difference is that it doesn't involve animal cruelty because there's vegan versions of everything. What do you eat today? Today for breakfast, I just down the street, I had a bacon, egg, and cheese that just doesn't involve animal abuse. That's vegan, yeah, made from like plants. Eggs that you can get in like a carton of like aren't eggs. Bacon and cheese, man. Bacon and cheese. And this you never be, know. You never I know. Just, they could be lying. That's probably like, some animals. Um, more like plant-based meat that actually tastes like meat. Yeah, it's really been developing. And uh, the bottom line is, if you put your morals first and you take in mind the victims, the innocent animals, you'll be able to work out everything else out. You'll be able to eat vegan burgers, pizzas, pastas that taste exactly the same. It just comes down to making that standpoint of taking animal rights seriously. And once again, that's more of the how conversation. The most important thing and what we're out here doing tonight is talking about the why. All right, all right, all right. so steak, steak don't count, steak don't count. And you said that you're gonna try. Would you take that stance on another injustice? For example, if somebody said, I acknowledge that child abuse is wrong, so I'm gonna try not abusing children. No, I'm not. Yeah. Just think about what side of history you guys wanna stand on. Just know that until you're vegan, you guys so are gonna be hypocrites. All vegan? All of us here are vegan, yes. Do you think like when you turn vegan, like as you're like body you change, this, like you got like, skinnier you or something? Started to turn vegan. Like, like, when, when did you become vegan? I became vegan about three years ago <laughs> from seeing footage like this. <laughs> and I realized that until I was vegan, I was going to be a hypocrite. I was going to be an animal abuser because I claimed, like you guys, to be against animal abuse. And going vegan became the easiest decision because all it meant was not abusing animals. Just keep in mind that until the day comes that you guys are vegan, you guys are going to be abusing animals and animals are going to be tortured and tormented because of you. So think about what side of history you guys want to stand on. But yeah, I appreciate your time, guys. Thank you for the conversation. Thank you. Peace.